We are now in the resuscitation room. This is a key room where whatever is bringing the patient to the hospital is life-threatening. This is where we do the resuscitation, the high-end type of movie things that you may see in an emergency department. Our resuscitation room is state-of-the-art. It starts with this large boom. This boom, as you can see, will move around to the middle of the room. On the boom, we have oxygen, suction, the ability to hook up whatever things the patient requires so that we can monitor and do interventions in a very timely manner. It moves also to the middle, so that should we ever be in a situation where we need to run multiple resuscitation codes at the same time, the stretcher turns to the other way, and we bring in two stretchers. The boom goes in the middle, and it is twinned on either side, which allows two full resuscitation codes to go at the same time. Another key piece is similar to what's in the operating room, is the light that does not give lighting, ambient lighting throughout the theater, but it focuses straight on the area of the patient that we need to focus on for enhanced lighting. As you can see, there's also a large monitor behind me. This allows the teams to see what's going on with the different type of modalities and what we are monitoring in the patient without having to dart and look over each other. As you can only imagine in a resuscitation, there is multiple people in this room trying to help the patient. We also are a good fortune to have a large storage area between the first resuscitation room and our second resuscitation room. The far resuscitation room, again, is exactly like this one with the capacity to split so that we can have four simultaneous codes going on at the same time. We truly hope that never happens, but we are certainly able and ready to manage that when it does.